I'll use my next ability and then rest. I'll clear this area then just rest after it. Huh? Let's see what lies this way. Nothing shall allow. Yes. I've got to be careful with that. That does a lot of damage. Against myself. Skeletons, don't they? Peaceful music. You should see this. Let's see. Explore, folks. Explore everywhere. You never know where it'll get you and what it'll get you. that after all okay. again that enough sorry steady does it walking through stuff stop it walking through stuff More deer. Hunt. Corpse. That's unusual. Rate of hidden wonders. Given that to, uh, Come back for that. Following your lead. Oh, 
Hana. Lesson to be taught. Yes. A lesson to be taught here. Yeah. It's the roof. I love everything. We'll survive. Do do do. Master. Clear this place and then save it. Come back here, grab the thing that we've that we've used. Keeping an eye out. Keeping an eye out. Burned lady. Basically running headlong straight into them because of simple opponents, so Hello. Alright. Hello. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Can see it in your heart. That's it. Sound. We'll keep to ourselves. I suppose. I 
wake up here for today. Take the Durans where he bores us to sleep. Call it a tent, because that's what I would call it. Right, uh, uh, the staff was yours. Can you tell me more about it? Durans glances at his staff, and then at you, and gives a crooked smile. Can't take your eyes from it, he chuckles. Durant himself favours such naughty twists of heat. It was said. No, no shame in it. Why are those runes carved on your staff? Carved? This staff is a history. Acts leave their mark. Some symbols fall into the ash. Others blaze brighter. Brighter. Uh, what causes one to fade and another to rise? Memory. Meaning? It's same as the memories in your head, perhaps more trustworthy. Random acts, things done with instinct. They may make lines burning briefly through the wood. Acts devised, planned, that stay with you. Symbols form and tell the story. Story? It's like all memories, except the staff burns it true. When a thought's close, you see it clearer, brighter. Once you forget, they get buried, but like rings in wood, the etchings remain. Keeps me grounded. Also, it's a solid walking stick. How is it only watchers can see the symbols? <clears throat> there are energies of the spirit, a channel for one's faith. He frowns. It's hard to say. There was a time when they glowed brighter, but now they are an aid in my work. Because the staff's markings stand out to a watcher, well, they sometimes identify themselves, he frowns, and sometimes they are blinding to the staff as well. A gift of Mogram, perhaps, to cloak itself from sight when one isn't looking for it. I don't see Mogram's symbol on your staff. Frowns, it is there, but marked different. I follow Durance and his teachings. There is but a single flame. A simpler aspect. His frown deepens and it taps the edge of the staff. Durance would meditate by focusing on a single flame and attach meaning to it. It was something to centre the spirit for what was to come. For what was to come. The flame is intended to symbolise bringing punishment to another and it is inscribed above the symbol of the one being punished, marking them as always touched by Morgan. Black Meadow. Uh, go to the bridge. And then we go to the other place and then back to the main Yeah, let's go. Think they start off so quickly. We'll keep to ourselves. To ourselves. Mm -hmm. Do we though? There's fear again. Then I could rest here again.
Fuckers. What? Looks like I'll be taking the Let's long way to the Defiance Bay. Yeah, I'm just about a second up. Looks like the long way. That's unusual. Another one. I've got two people for that. That's, that's handy, actually. Two people for that. Always nice to have. Why do the guys get so far behind? It's so frustrating. I don't get it, man. Get to down. Whenever you're ready, I suppose. Knocks you on your ass. Hello. 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 Is it me you're looking for? Two trolls. Okay. Uh. Yes. Following your lead. Stand. Following your lead. Oh. 
How may I help? Oh, good. Me fall though. Be up again. Yeah. Forget what, 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 what is what? 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 Is what, is what, is what? Yeah. Nice and quiet. And quiet. Nice and quiet, champions. Uh, quiet is always the way to go, isn't it, champions? Magic squirm on Mr. Deer's entrails. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Open. Will we now, pal? Okay, damn looters can't be bothered to find an honest wage. Curse my luck. The woman mutters, kicking her foot into the ground and upturning a clod of soil. As you, as you approach, her eyes twitch and she turns to greet you. Hail, traveller, she says with half a hearted hand wave. The bridge to Divine Bay is out. If that's where you're headed, you'll need to find another route. Oh, sorry, the bridge. Uh, the river has been rising on account of all the storms. Here, where the river narrows, the flooding did the most damage. The Orlan woman folds her arms, a scowl overtaking her face. Guess they don't make things to last around here, do they? One of the stone columns collapsed in a flash flood, taking the whole middle section of the bridge out to sea. Madeir Bridge was the most direct route from Gilded Vale to Divine's Bay. Merchants and travellers now have to find boat passage 
or add days of extra travel to loop around the bay. So I started a ferry service, thinking I'd earn some coin and help others cross over to the bay. Peregrine shakes her head, her ears twitching as she speaks. And that was a bigger mistake than I might have allowed a cipher to court me. A fake now. I had been attempting to turn a quick copper, but she bites her lip, her face turning flush, flush with anger. Just my luck, the blasted current threw my ferry into the rocks, dashed it and my profits to pieces. And making matters worse, when I went to prowl the shore of to salvage whatever shipping crates didn't sink, a pair of loot looters attacked me. She stops her foot into the ground. The damaged brigands had the nerve to attack. I managed to avoid harm, but, but now they have stolen by force all that is left of my fortune. She eyes you for a long second to her hand cupping her chin. You know, you look like you fare better against those looters than little old me. Could I enlist your help? Thank you. Uh, take a look. Uh, Pigan smiles wide, her ears perking up. Thank you. I'm sure those thugs have made a mess of my stock, but maybe there's something there to be saved. How do I get to Divine's Bay? With the bridge destroyed, destroyed, the best course of action would be following the river north. You'll be able to cross th f farther upstream, but you've got a long walk ahead of you. Hmm. Find the wreckage. And what does the flame reveal? Flame reveal. stuff that fella had. Everybody in position again. Gathered around the soggy timbers of ship wreckage, men and women picked through the driftwood, snatching muddy silverware, mouldy clothes, clipped, chipped pottery, and anything they can spot among the detritus. All eyes turn as you approach. Group trade never stares at you until at last a woman in a muddy clothes steps forward and speaks. Where are Brettel and Tehran? she asks. They were just up along the path and we heard fighting. Her eyes narrow and a hand moves towards the knife on her belt as she anticipates your reply. They attacked us. It was a matter of self-defence. You, you killed them. You see Hawin's eyes tear up before she buries her face in her hands. Hands. The men and women around here take a step back, eyeing you cautiously. Arwen looks up, wiping her eyes. You speak of self-defence. Well, we are defending ourselves from the storm. Her face, uh, her voice rises and her face grows flush with emotion. The floods took our entire farm. We have nothing left. Nothing. No food. No roof. And now I don't even have my cousins. <laughs> Not my fault, is it? She throws up her hands in despair. We don't want to fight. We have lost enough already. Please, just leave us. Does not change the fact you're stealing. Yeah, I mean... But then that goes against that I'm being aggressive. So I came here to investigate some missing cargo. We mistook your cousins for looters. She blinks in disbelief. Looters? But this is a wreck. What value does it have? The men and women all turn to her. Their faces frightened and worried. Please. We need these supplies clear, uh, dearly. The storm took everything from us. It is not our desire to steal, but we are destitute. Should we let those wares just sink to the river bottom? Regardless of your needs, you are still stealing from Peregrine. A wee bit of Perhaps you could tell the merchant we found nothing beyond bits of driftwood. 
From her point of view, it will be as if the river washed it all away. Besides, how much copper will she really make by selling those rotting clothes and soiled wares? Uh, I will see what I can do. I will not lie to cover your theory. I will not lie. Why not lie? Yeah, no. Then you leave us with no choice. Battle! Curses! Curses! I'm, I'm not gonna lie, folks. Right? They brought it on themselves. And I just left it well alone. But no. Yeah. The frayed end of a rope drifts in the river. Shh. Very cargo. I don't think it's funny that was uh, sure. hmm. healing. Show her the guard cargo. What these happen to be your wares. Minor, minor negative. Okay. Uh, Pegrin's ears twitch with excitement as you drop the supplies down in front of her. Thank you. I was beginning to think it had all sunk into the bottom of the river. She reaches into her toric pocket and hands something to you. Consider this a small token of my gratitude. I will reward you properly when you visit my shop and find something. 